Um, it's it's too hot. I don't know if any of you have noticed. It's too fucking hot. And it's not, you know, maybe some of you aren't in the UK. And just to explain, it's not just the temperature, right? It's the humidity. So not only is it warm, but your body's ability to sweat and for that to evaporate to cool you down doesn't work. Just doesn't do anything when it's this humid. <laughs> it's, mate, Lindy, it's actually, yeah, I've, that to, yesterday and today haven't been as bad um but yeah i had a couple of days um where it's just constant headaches feeling a little bit sick um yeah i hate it i fucking hate it um Naila ben james farley's not lazy he's having some well-deserved time away um with his family um I do I do have a can of drink, Colin. I've got some I've got some vanilla Coca Cola. Should we just get this out of the way now? <laughs> right. Let's do it. Uh oh, hang on, is Cammy? I don't think Cammy's here yet. Um It's alright, Scientologist. Don't I don't know why I don't know why I called you that. Your name's Ben. Hi Ben. Where's my phone? Where did I put my phone? I need to text Cammy and tell him I'm doing this stupid challenge. He said he doesn't want to miss it. I don't know where my phone... Where have I put my phone? I, don't <laughs> I normally never... Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, hang on. Um, <laughs> where was Thursday? Amazing. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. Right, I'm just going to go and find my phone. I've probably left it in the kitchen. Yeah, everyone have yeah. If you could all just have a look, uh, like between the cushions and stuff in your sofa. Right, I won't be a sec. Jesus Christ. It's not in the kitchen. And it's not on my desk. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to ask the robot where it is. Um, I'm not ringing it with the landline. I'm not savage. It's not hiding under there. It's not, where the fuck have I? Right, if you've got a Google Home, mute this now. Turn your volume down because I'm going to ask it to ring my phone. Is it not? No, it's here. Disaster averted, everyone. It was by the, the sofa and apparently I was playing Pokemon Go. Um, <laughs> right, where's Cammy? Let's text Cammy. Sorry, this is exciting, isn't it? Doing the can face poor challenge shortly there we go did you sorry did you say <laughs> oodles who gave you my phone number that's not <laughs> um that's 10e mate well remembered unless you can just tell by looking at it which to be fair i wouldn't put past you <laughs> okay uh so for those who don't know um friend of the show cami toman um the other day on his stream he streams over at uh co cami c o k a m i he's very good um he just <laughs> he decided to launch a new trend uh called the can face pour challenge where he pours uh a can of any any drink you like, as long as it's from a can, and you have to pour it into your mouth, like from a distance, right? Um, cheers, Ben. Sorry, I, yeah, this this layout doesn't have the um, the alert thing. Um, yeah, 
<laughs> oh, he, say, he says, ooh, excellent. When do you start? I am on right now in capitals. We are basically waiting for you to show up. Ha ha ha. Um, that's true, yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't need a plug because he was on Zaffer Cakes' stream the other night, uh, last night, night before. Um, went pretty well, I thought, for a largely unplanned, unscripted bit. Um, here he is. Here he is. Right, let's do this. So yeah, can of vanilla coke. It's very nice, to be fair. Right. Clip this. Right, I'm taking part in the can face pour challenge as nominated. By Kami Toman, that's Co Kami on <laughs> Twitch. Uh, I nominate um, Stuart Hour, minute 5072 on Twitch, and James Farley, because Lord knows he's got enough cans lying around, hasn't he? <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, yeah, white t shirt. This is going to go badly, isn't it? Fucking hell. I'm really, I'm really quite anxious about this. How, Kami, how'd you do it? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that wasn't enough that wasn't enough let's keep going <laughs> oh it was lovely that um let's just let's just angle the camera a little bit here there you go that's gone that's gone well that um whew, okay should i change t-shirt i mean it's probably fine right i don't think anyone cares oh fuck the fucking camera's falling over now um was it too high i mean it's hard to hard to judge it you know what i mean oh, why is the cameras at the wrong sorry so my entire camera and ring light is on the the world's tiniest tripod and if the, the weight distribution isn't quite right it all just goes right now see starting slow and uh, sorry, starting low and moving away just seemed like cheating to me i am gonna have to clean my glasses though and my face i mean it's all over my desk and the floor uh <laughs> Right, <clears throat> let's go. Um, oh my God, my desk is absolutely soaking. Do you know what? I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth that I normally use for wiping my glasses. <laughs> right, cold games. Um, it's too hot. I want to play some games that... Um, I just want to remember what, what snow was like. I mean, not that we even get snow in winter now because global warming's sorting that out for us, isn't it? Um, <clears> How <throat> oh, have you known, Naila Ben, that I do quite a lot of my own washing? Thank you very much. Um, right, let's see. <laughs> so the first game I'm going to play is Alto's Odyssey. I'm going to try launching it from Steam. Good, that appears to have worked. It's on the Epic Game Store. That's why I was somewhat anxious. But it wasn't going to work. Let's actually put the game on. There we go. I'm not putting the Santa costume on. Jesus. F that. Oh, hang on. What's going on? Should I? I'm not hearing any sound from this. Maybe there's just there just isn't any yet. I'd have, I'd have expected like a bit of music or something. Low effort. <clears throat> yeah, this is free on the Epic Game Store. Well, I certainly don't feel like giving Epic any money at the moment. Um, <laughs> I'll take stuff for free off them. You've probably played this on your telephone, and if you haven't, you should, because it's really good. Um, why not? Because they force-fed a load of children corporate propaganda. <laughs> um, Your llamas are escaping down the mountain. Quick, grab your snowboard and chase after them. So obviously, yeah, I played this a lot on the phone, um, but never with a controller. So 
I mean, I don't imagine it. It's probably just still just one button, right? Smack them llamas. Llamas equal points. Press A to jump over rocks. Collect coins and exchange them for cool things at Izzel's workshop back at the village. Coins are worth points too. Press and hold A to backflip. So yeah, you've always got to get the timing right. So don't land it. Landing tricks give you a speed boost. More tricks means more speed and the longer your scarf will grow. It's basically... Um, jump onto the bunting line to grind it. Every trick you perform in a single train will multiply the points you earn. I wonder where they got that idea. Unoriginal. Or what? Oh yeah, so you get a force field for doing tricks and boosts. And you can smash through rocks, which is useful if, like me, you are bad at the game. Don't like look at that warning sign, you better be careful. Yeah, it usually means there's a big jump that you have to make or else you will die. Yeah. <laughs> jump the chasm. Uh, that's all I can think of for now. Uh, I think you're ready to start your adventure. Cool. Fucked up the what? What for fucked up? Oh, the, um, the Dark Souls thing. Oh, shit. I mean, it's a great start, isn't it? That's gone really well. Absolutely tremendous. Oh, here we go. Uh, the Photoshop camera has got a new lens called Tempest. Expect some naff selfies with that on Twitter once this is over. Smack, <laughs> Is it really necessary to give him a little smack on the tush? You have to come home. It is really nice music. Oh, you enjoyed the other Photoshop, did you? I mean, calling it editing is very kind. They're just filters on a new camera app they've brought out. I mean, they're very, very good. Like, like actually quite good quality. Why did I go for the spin? I never right. I should probably just shut up. That was... Fuck off. Why did they not allow that? That's a load of bullshit. This will probably be a short um, one. I've got three other games lined up. Um, one of them, one of them is very odd. Um, I'm excited to revisit it. Two rocks in one run, there we go. Very skilled. Yes, star! Come on, yes, rock bounce, they've got a rock bounce. I don't know why they felt the need to put rain in. Surely you just have snowy bits, not rain. Because I tell you what, I'm fucking sick of thunder as well. Never thought that had happened, but here we are. Um, we've had like two, two like proper thunderstorms, and both times Maro's been absolutely shut up by it. I've basically lost most of my easy to try and calm it down. It's not her fault, really. Although she is the first, oops, the first dog I've had that's bothered by thunder. Stupid, stupid. Yeah, I think the audio is supposed to just get louder and louder, and it's just because it's a Zen game, isn't it? So you're getting into the the flow of it with your t-shirt soaked in vanilla Coca-Cola. Was it getting louder than me? That's weird. I've got a um, I've got it signed side chained, mate, so it should go quieter. What are we doing? Pick up a coin. Oh, I've clipped on. There we go. <coughs> what? 
took two seconds reading the chat there. And look. Right, hang on, let's... Um, let's have a look at the old settings. Yeah, microphones. So yeah, I'll just drop the threshold. Maybe that'll do it. <clears throat> You're not hearing any docking? That's weird. Right now. I've altered the threshold on it, see if that makes a difference. No, I, I, I abandoned the flip, but clearly not soon enough. <laughs> it's working now, cool. It's weird, I thought I was speaking well over the compressor threshold, but apparently not. Challenges were. I've got the bloody mouse cursor on the screen. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the host, Retro Ed. Appreciate that. Right. So we've got to click on the window, then move the mouse cursor away. PC gaming, mate, it's brilliant. Best console in the world, this. Yeah, sorry, it's not not chill at all, is it? Is it him? <laughs> Because Adventure didn't have the Zen mode, did it? That was just in Odyssey, I think. Um, didn't need to jump that. Could have smashed through it. What the fuck? But yeah, but um, Odyssey's all uh, desert themed. And of course, that is no good for the theme of tonight's stream. Um, but yeah, def I mean, if you think this looks good, uh, definitely get it on your phone. Either the first or second one. They're both really good. Pick up a coin man magnet, and I've got to travel 5,000 meters in one run. Gotcha. And yet, here's me do it. <clears throat> Nicest game I've ever rage quit. Um, I don't know. There's probably, there's definitely some like, definitely been like chill games where I've had technical issues and just been like that. Thank you. Probably No Man's Sky when I like fell through the planet for the fifth time in one session. Not that I'm ragging on No Man's Sky, I quite like it. Look at that double backflip, guys. Come on. Ninja, eat your heart out. Ah, oh, that was an icy bit. I could have smashed through it. Oh, no. No, oh, no. Oh. Jesus, what's Cammy said? Cammy's, Cammy's texted me. Um, Cammy says it was an absolutely sensational pour. Uh, and I didn't realise you could still get vanilla coke. Yeah, you can. It's really nice. From my um, nearby corner shop, which also sells nourishment. The strangest drink known to man. <laughs> you didn't like Journey, Colin? What is wrong with you? Oh, it's only 5,000 metres in total. I thought it was in one run. Well, that's, uh, that's done. <laughs> can I get you a nourishment for what? Do you, can you not get nourishment in Scotland? I mean, it's probably for the best. It's doing you a favour. 
like, yes, is the answer. I mean, you'll be absolutely freaked out when you see it. It's a wonder that they're allowed to sell it, honestly. Oh, why? Why, why did I do that? Nourishment is a vitamin-style drink. It's, yeah, it's like a milky vitamin drink. Um, it's spelled without the O, by the way. It's just N-U, Richmond. And, um... <laughs> Um, I I think it's really nice, but it's in like you know like like it's, it's a canned drink, but it's like the can that you would get like baked beans in. Um, and every time I've seen it in any batch of cans in in a shop, there'll be a couple that are just like a bit rusted or <laughs> or like the labels are come like the labels are sort of discolored and falling off. Um, so part of the fun is finding one that isn't absolutely minging. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm really selling it. It's definitely, like, weird. It's just weird. And I don't know how it continues to exist in its current form. I don't know who else is drinking it. It's not condensed milk, but it's a similar can, yeah. Um, it's just absolutely bizarre. And unfortunately, I think it's quite nice. I mean, it's about like 500 calories in one can, so if you drink one, it's better, better be your entire breakfast. Um, yes, mate, here we go. Setting world records and missing power ups. It wasn't a magnet, though, that's the way to go. <laughs> no, people, see, so this thing with nourishment, right, is that I, so I first discovered it. Um, when I moved down to London for university, and I was like, what the hell is this? Oh, here we go, the guy's chasing me now. Um, and, um, yeah, and I was like, oh my god, we don't have this in the north. This is unbelievable. And then, yeah, just years later, I started seeing it in, you know, corner shops and petrol stations up here as well. What a treat. Stop chasing me. I haven't done nothing wrong, mate. I need a big jump. Because then he'll leave me alone. And I'll do. Here we go. See you later, mate. Is the website quite fancy? Magnets. Because I mean, the cans are not fancy at all. This is a good. This is this is the run, isn't it? I'll probably change game after this one. Nice if it like cashed in the challenges and gave you new ones mid run. Whereas now, like, I basically have to end this run just to get more challenges, right? You need me to uh, fix your game, just give me a shout, yeah? Teach you a thing or two about game design. Yes, exactly, Ben. What? I nearly, I nearly challenged uh, Richard Morgan with the um, can face poor challenge, um, but I, I feel like it would have just maybe stressed him out. I feel like he doesn't need it. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh, I thought we were done. I thought we were done then. Susky, yes, this is the game that just went free on Epic. Um, so, you know, have a go. Or, I think it looks good and you haven't got a PC. Uh, I don't know. It work. Uh, you can get it on your telephone. James will do it. Oh, hey, Gary. Yeah, you know the um, people who made this, right? I mean, I'm going to upset you by not playing it anymore. <laughs> Said that was going to be the last run of it. Um, oh, Cammy says check my phone. What have we got? What have we got? 
Oh, for God's sake. I'm not, I, I literally can't show that because it will break terms of service. <sighs> Cammy sent me an obscene photograph, by the way. Which, I mean, he thinks he censored it to make it appropriate, I think, but he hasn't. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm ending on 666 coins. That's weird. Um, there's an interesting fact. So today, I went to uh, a branch of the entertainer, the toy shop. Um, I mean, Cammy, I mean, yeah, you, li you literally covered the anus, but I think there was probably still too much skin on show for Twitch. Um, <laughs> so, the entertainer, the shop, um, which is owned by, um, I can't remember what is, oh, there is, Zen Mode is in it. Damn it. Oh, maybe I'll give that a go in a minute then. It's owned by a evangelical Christian guy. Um, that's why the shop is shut on Sundays. Um, they say it's because they want staff to be able to spend time with their families, which is cool. I respect that. But it is also because where everyone's, everyone's at church, aren't they, on Sundays? And it's also why they don't sell any Harry Potter stuff because it's, it's devilish, isn't it? It's satanic. Um, anyway, I bought a yo-yo. I got another yo-yo. This one lights up blue. I don't think I'll be able to show you. I don't think it will... Can I, I don't think I can hold it high enough. There you go. It's blue, in it? Look. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, uh, it's, this was priced at £6.66. And I just thought that was a bit strange, um, given who owns the place and that he does he makes that influence felt in several aspects in the way the shop is run. Um, <laughs> um Colin, this is sort of how my streams go these days, mate. I don't know if you saw the marble run one. This is just what it's like now. Um, oh, my light ring's flickering. That's a good sign, isn't it? Right, Zen mode then. Activate. No score, no game over, no distractions. Just you and the endless mountain. Right, someone's going to have to tell me to stop playing this. I'm pressing A. Why is it working? You're not seeing me stream in a while. Great start. Get up. I was going to say, I hope it's got, I hope it's got different music because the one in Alto's Adventure does. No, Odyssey. It's happening. Probably try and not talk that much. Sorry, yeah, I've been tending to do the um, daytime streams just for a bit of, just to break the day up. Because I, I mean, I really shouldn't moan about getting to work from home every day. Like, fucking hell, it's a chore sometimes. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I mean, uh, yeah, okay, maybe I don't need to apologize. <laughs> I don't need to apologize, but um, for what it's worth, Colin, I consider it an issue that you are missing out on my streams. <laughs> probably, probably more of an issue than you consider it, to be honest. <laughs> it matters to me personally that you get to enjoy my streams. <laughs> Cheers, Pubis. Yeah, the, the daytime streams have gone really well. I mean, obviously, current circumstances help. Um, a lot of people working from home or furloughed or, or whatever um, who've now got time to watch stuff during the day that they wouldn't otherwise. Can't wait to go back into the office and just be like... Try and uh, attempt that. Yeah, go back into the office and just be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to stick Lemmy on. Does anyone mind? Oh, this is how I work now. Deal with it. That's a good point, Colin, but I mean, we can always, we can always try and improve, can't we? I did actually 
actually get Isaac a new toy today. It might make a good construction stream. <laughs> Basically just a, a racetrack. He's already got like a little one, uh, but I just got like some extra bits for it today, including a gate that the cars can smash through and some little hills and stuff. <laughs> I think it might be good fun. That's a point, yeah, Colin's team turner now. Thanks, mate. <coughs> oh, fuck's sake. Um, it's all right, Colin, it's just, that's just your sense of humour, right? I mean, if you were to turn around one day and be like, oh, by the way, I meant every fucking word I said, you cunt. <laughs> Maybe we'd have a problem. And to be fair, it's no worse than uh, the treatment I gave Farley behind his back on the show this week. <laughs> not happy as well he was messaging the uh tcgs group like oh just adding up the number of uh, number of digs you've had at me uh, this week sean i think it was only about three but to be fair that's three more than usual so it definitely comes across as somewhat cowardly didn't even see that rock then um when's capone doing a stream i don't think he's uh i don't think that's his sort of thing um Yeah, I think if Capone wanted to start streaming, I think he'd probably just start his own channel. I think he'd be better off. <laughs> Doesn't need us. God, look at that snow. It's almost as if my face isn't caked in sweat and dried Coca-Cola. <laughs> Um, just before the heat wave, I got a new jacket. For those who don't know, it's a cross between a shirt and a jacket. Just like a really thick shirt with, with pockets in it that you can wear as either a shirt or a jacket. Um, and uh, yeah, and it was, you know, and when I got it, I was like wearing it around the house for a couple of days. It was really nice. And then, oh, come on. And uh, yeah, and now the idea of wearing it actually gives me anxiety because I would immediately sweat to death in it. Yeah, it's called Style Gary, why don't you look it up, mate? Actually, like distorting, or is it? It's not actually distorting. No, that's fine. Exactly. It's called feelings, mate. Get in touch with them. The, uh, I like the art, but not the not the potty mouth host. What's my take on the Barker biome score? Um, I mean, what was it? I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> to I went to music what Munich once. And I've been to Barcelona. That's literally two of the like three European cities I've been to. <laughs> um, the other one being Paris, which was horrible. Um, 
Yeah, Munich's alright. Uh, no, going to Munich is not the start of a joke. Uh, New's got some family there. And we went uh, in November and the Christmas markets were on and it was cool. However, um, it did make it very clear that like, you know, like Christmas markets in the UK, you'll have your, your bratwurst and your blue vine and stuff. And, but then there'll, there might also be like a curry place and a burger place and like loads of other stuff going on. As far as we could tell in Germany, it's like, nah, mate, bratwurst and glue vine, what else do you need? What else could you possibly need? Um, <laughs> so, it was lovely. Um, but, yeah. I've done the can thing. Yeah, Dave, that was near the start, mate. Um, I mean, can you not tell by the state of my T-shirt? Jesus. Um, <laughs> Next time I fall off, I'll go to the next game. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, no, no, made it, made it, made it, made it. Oh, fucking... Right, there we go, that'll do it. Right, let's... Oh, it's got to take a photograph. Is that... I assume that's going to come into focus any second now. Any second. Any any second now. What's going on? Alright, well, I mean, it's a good thing we decided not to play this anymore, because it appears to have crashed. Great console. It's a great console, PC. It's great. <laughs> uh, how do I... Oh, and a four... Hey, there we go. We're free. Right. <clears throat> Cheers, Dave. <laughs> right, uh, next game is... Cargo, the quest for gravity. So this is... Um, I think this is by Ice Pick Lodge, right? Who did... What's it? The creepy one that everyone likes. Oh, hang on. Let's open cargo settings first. Pathologic. Thank you, Susky. Um, oh, hang on. Performing first time setup. Got to install DirectX, guys. Fucking. Sorry, why not? I've only, I've never told the Paris story. Um, so we were, <laughs> we were. Um, it was a school trip, well, a college trip, to Futuroscope in France, which is like a technological theme park um, with things like a cinema screen that's just made up of like five hundred CRT screens really futuristic stuff and um and uh yeah and we went on bus obviously because you know you have to keep these things cheap so a bus all the way from northwest england down to futuroscope which is i can't remember it's certainly not near paris um gary futuroscope is not it's not the greatest anything it's horrible um, <laughs> yeah so we went on a bus to like the french midlands i think um Sorry, yeah, yeah, we, we went by bus or on a bus. Yes. Keep that. Um, right, the, setting, the settings are fine, guys. The settings are all fine. I think that means we can play the game now. Play the game. I don't know if it actually captures. Anyway. Yeah, so, and basically, so we all fell asleep on the bus. And, um... Okay. Um, we went by bus on on a bus by bus um, fell asleep first night and then basically got woken up um, at like 3am and they were like oh we're at a service station in France 
who needs the toilet? And like, everyone did. So we all filed out the bus, went for a piss. And we were just like looking around. This was our first taste of France, just like a service station on a motorway. <laughs> and, um... Oh, good, it's not found the game, has it? It's not It's not um, capturing it. That's a good start. Um, yeah, and then basically... And someone went like, oh, shit, the bus is leaving in like two minutes. And we all had to leg it to the bus. Three in the morning. And, um... Got on the bus, fell asleep again, woke up in Paris at 6 a.m. And everyone's like, right, you're in Paris, go out, get out, enjoy Paris. Couldn't find my fucking wallet. Um, and after a lot of frantic searching, realised it must have like fallen out of my pocket in the service station, which had all my money for the entire trip in it. Um, so yeah, just a really stressful, horrible time. I had no money to spend on anything while I was there. Um, and just, yeah, just having to sort of walk around Paris at 6 a.m. and it was like raining and yeah, it's bad. Right, you can't see the game, let's fix that. Um, hang on, oh, that's good. So it also won't let me change monitors without. Fuck's sake. No, hang on, let's run it in windowed mode instead. That will probably fix it. So yeah, it wasn't really Paris's fault. It was just a bad experience involving Paris. Now the fucking... To be fair, right, this game never really worked particularly well. <laughs> Let's open the settings again. Um, resolution... Oh my god, it can... It's got HDR, what the fuck? How's that possible? This game's like a million years old. Oh, whatever. Brilliant, so you can't, you can't run it windowed, hang on, right, let's just get rid of that game capture one, let's have display capture, hey, there we go, that's the wrong display, welcome everyone to my Streamlabs display, <laughs> let's change that, there you go, there you go, let's play the game. Oh, and I need to... Shit, I need to change the volume. Shit, shit, shit. There we go, let's drop that. Is that working? Yeah, it's working. Oh, so you also found it quite unwelcoming. Well, there you go. It is Paris's fault. Am I getting this for any grot? No chance, mate. Oh, don't tell me it doesn't have controls. Uh, yeah, of course it has controls. Uh, uh, controller support, I mean. Brilliant. It's keyboard and mouse job. Let's go. Let's strap in, folks. Um, right. We're going to see some weird stuff. Just so you know. <laughs> Check these guys out. Go down. We're going to miss our landing. Slack the stay away. Drop anchor. Heave ho. Descend, you fool. Lower. Go lower, I say. I can't go any lower. I need more weight. That's a great voice act. We have more weight than anybody. Get us down or I'll take the cockpit myself. I'd like to see that. They've come out the green us. This time we've hit the jackpot. An offer like this comes once in a lifetime. We've put all our savings into this trip and it won't work. Um, what's cold about this game? So I, I'm pretty sure the first area is all icy. I mean, if I've got that wrong, I'll just bin this off immediately. Oh, okay. Oh, right, yeah. There's no ice there. Um, fuck, I 
have picked up an object. Here you go, fellas. The crash landing was a great success. <laughs> our finest, most important minds came to greet our honored guests. Yet somehow they miscalculated. Your position wasn't triangulated. You landed far from the festivities and made a horrible mess. But don't be sad, it's not that bad. Our little orchestra was running late, and through a twist of fate, are the first to meet you on this date. We'll now sing a song for you. How glad we are you joined our crew. There were no humans left, at least that's what we were told, after they flew away in days of old. And now look at you, alive and well and human too. Came from the sky like a fairy tale. Why are you so sad and pale? Don't feel blue. You're a pilot. You'll fly again and teach us too. See right. Oh, there you go. We've exploded. Don't hit the bodies too hard. They're valuable. I mean, I wasn't going to hit them all. all. Right, so I don't know. Some asses are asking for a good kicking. Kick 1,000 drops of fun while the little rascals are happy. I remember seeing all the little buddy guys like skating out onto the ice. How do I kick? I don't know the controls. Oh, there we go. Strong emotions are forbidden here. Okay. I think maybe this isn't going to work. <laughs> this is stream. Follow me! Okay, mate, into the seat. So I think that on the top left, I think that's the fun meter. <laughs> that's physics, that. There we go, look, it's like Mario. Back to normal notes. I feel a bit ill. Yeah. Be honest. Yeah. Go, mate. Uh oh. Buddies like to fly. Don't worry if a buddy or two overreacts and explodes from the excitement of flight. They'll be back to party again as soon as they can erupt from the volcano. No, it's not very cold at all. It's, uh, it's disrupting the, the theme. Do you want me to just stop it? This is I should point out, this isn't the entire game just going around kicking little nude guys. Let's roll. This is just like the tutorial or something. Right, look, let's just get to a thousand drops of fun and see what happens. If the world doesn't freeze over. There you go. Is that it? Is it not? Oh, okay. We're all going nuts. I think you'll find, Colin, that the viewer numbers have actually gone up slightly since I put this on, so I think it's a winner, personally. I am Manipu, the creator, and your client. We cannot accept delivery. The cargo is only technically here. Look, it's wet, it's sinking, it's on fire. That's not what the contract guaranteed. Man's got a point. I am Manipo II, Deus Ex Machina. I assert the engineer is lousy. She doesn't build or fix a thing, just kicks ass and chews gum. Come to think of it, we didn't need an engineer. We needed a plumber. A flood was on the agenda. And I am Manny Poo, Deus Ex Machina. I think I've had enough. One, and I, agree to, to, to I think I've had enough. I so full of mercy. And I can't stop what it. Surprise. They don't have any other candidates. Oh, who's this now? As a guard. Stop it. Go away. I don't want to enter the shop. I just want to exit. Right. <laughs> uh. That's enough of that. Right, nice 
chilled, cold game. However, wish me luck. Spelling the title. Uh, set game. Oops. I think that's right. And, uh, Iceland. No. So I'm missing an accent on the Y. But I'm sure it'll be fine. <clears throat> this might run really badly because it's quite um, visually good, even though very little happens in it. How's it pronounced? So I'm going to go with Meridal Sander or similar. I can't do the, the rolled R very well, obviously. Um, oh no, that's running alright, isn't it? Um, this is a game where you walk around. Obviously, I'm not going to say it again, Colin. You know full well I'm not going to attempt that again. So don't even make me try. Um, this is running on... What Unreal Engine are we on now? Whichever one we're on now, this is the previous one. Um, it's a Death Stranding. That's good. That's good. Um, uh, you'll you'll like this, Gary. It's a photography game, although it's not. Oh, I can't even remember where you find the. You have to find the camera first. Um, it's yes, yeah, Unreal Engine Three. Thank you. Um, which is pretty good because it looks fucking real. But yeah, so I believe this is a recreation of um, a small area around the north coast of Iceland. Um, yeah, basically, so you find the camera and then there's like a series of shots you have to recreate. So there's no creativity in it. This actually has VR support, which I've not tried yet. Um, oh, it is getting choppy, isn't it? Hang on, let's see if we can. Oh, and the music's all by C418 as well. Video settings, please. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, so my card is the equivalent of a 1060, I believe. <clears throat> In fact, let's knock that down further to accommodate for the fact that we are also streaming. How's that? Are we... Are we okay? Or is it still bad? I'm not getting any more errors. <laughs> Single digit frame rate. It's the best kind. Does it not calm down yet? A bit smoothie, you say. Are we alright? Yeah, I had a little play with the settings. So yeah, so you find the camera and then you just have to recreate some existing shots. I can't remember where the camera is. Hello, an amused frog. I hope you're very amused by this wandering around in Iceland. It does not look like shit, Gary. Don't be mean. Oh, is there lag now? That's interesting. Uh-oh. I oh, must have gone too far off the... Uh, too far off the beaten path. I am somewhat of an adventurer. So that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, look at the, the popping on those plants now, man. I mean, we don't actually have to do the camera stuff, right? We can just go for a nice walk. Um, can you sprint? Yeah, you can a bit. There you go, it's a real game. Yeah, it's the uh, the popping is quite bad. It uh, reminds me of the uh, Halo Infinite footage uh, from last week. Or the week before, whenever it was. Look at that. 
big shitting mountain. Cheers, Ben. I thought, I, do you know, as, as I was saying it, I was like, this is, this is a good one, this is. And, uh, do you know what I might, hang on a minute. So if I put the view distance back up, but drop the resolution and the field of view, if that makes any difference. Yeah, so it goes, yeah, I was just saying it's got VR support. I should really try it because I bet it's very nice. But yeah, and the music's by the uh, the Minecraft guy. I mean, not that one, obviously. The guy did the music for Minecraft. It's That's because it is foggy, Colin. I'm just in a foggy bit. All right. Step off. I must say, as much as I enjoy... Oh, here we go. Here we go. I was just about to moan about not knowing where the camera is. So, raise or lower the camera. Space or A. Take photo. Left click. Uh, just focus. Mouse wheel. Look at that. Look at that. That's good. Um, toggle depth of field effect. Little mouse button. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, there we go. Yes, that's on. That's off. Cool. <clears throat> Who's left that there? Mate, this is how... This is just what photographers are like. I'll just leave my camera. Who even needs it? It's, sorry, speaking of photography, I'm annoyed that my head's getting uh, cut off here. Everyone needs the full. There we, go. there we go. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Oh, hey, Molly, you're doing all right. Right, so now we need to find. Oh, yeah, there's a. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that's very mean, Colin. You're not sorry. You bloody love it. Typing it out like, yeah, let's fucking get him. He deserves this. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Here's the board. In the game, do you find your mum who has gone to Ireland, Iceland? I don't know. I've never finished it. Right, so these are the photos we've got to take. So we need... I mean, I'm looking at that. There's no chance I'm going to do this. Okay, so we need a shot. Looking down at the... I presume that's like a glacier runoff or something, is it? I've no idea. Um, just nick them all. Yeah, just take them. And go, oh, yeah, I took these. I took these. Yeah, they're good. Aren't they? um, it's like that, that little information board. And basically, yeah, so what happens is um, you take all the pictures and then they disappear as you take each one. And then when you're done, this little gate opens and you get to go to another area. Did they want one of the waterfall? No. Oh, yeah, they do. I think that's the waterfall. Yeah. Come on, then. Let's go. Take a photo of the fo photos. Now, that is a hack and a half mate that's quality all right let's get the uh let's get the focus right mate so when does that ding ding noise that means you've taken one of the ones <laughs> that it needs I mean, to be fair, taking a photo of the photos is actually a good idea because um, <laughs> I think you can look back at the photos you've taken so far. So it'd be a good little memory aid. So you see one of them has disappeared now. 
It's no Pokemon Snap, you're absolutely right. Surely Pokemon crap, Gary. It's the uh, the one you want there. Here we go. Oh, was that not it? Oh, come on, mate. That's definitely the rock you wanted. Oh, this is bollocks. Can I review my photographs? Okay, you can see you can fast travel to the photo book. Now this is that's where I am now. Fuck's sake. <laughs> uh music. Well, it's not all by the Minecraft guy, fair enough. So you can't review your pictures. Right. Fine. I mean I was convinced that, that was a picture that it wanted. Maybe I just got the framing wrong. No. I'm just going to keep taking pictures of it. Until it tells me I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right, Gary. You're not feeling cold. Right, so let's fast travel to the photo board. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Let's see what it wants. Okay, I mean, I felt like what I was doing was close enough. So it wants that one front and then the sort of middle and right third and then that green one over to the left. All right. All right. Okay, computer. Was it the wrong rock? I thought that was the right one, just from the wrong angle. That is excellent news, Molly. I have... I walked uh, the dog at about half nine last night, and it was incredible. That's it, isn't it? Pretty sure that's it. Come on. Give me this shit. Fucking I'm not happy with this. Yeah, there we go. God, it is quite specific then, isn't it? Um Right, I think I know another easy one we can do. What do you reckon, Gary? I felt that was needlessly pedantic. But maybe not. <laughs> so I think up here... You can follow the path up, and I think it takes you to another one that we need. That that mountain um, is very noticeably just a sprite in the distance, isn't it? Compared to everything, I mean, not this mountain. This one's huge, but. Hello, Magic Joe F. Thank you for the sub. Ah. I think that's one of them. Nope. <laughs> maybe it's further back. Or maybe it's from the other side. Colin, 
don't start, you'll upset Gary. There we go. That's another one done. <laughs> That's me holding the sprint button, by the way. And it just goes, oh no, it's, it's like a half a centimetre of water. Slow down, guys. Plod, plod, plod. Okay. So there's there's one more that I know where it is. I've never been to Iceland. I would really like to though. <clears throat> Some uh, repeating textures on the floor there. Ah, but it's a level of detail thing. So when you get close, it goes away. But from back here... See that? Like right in the middle there. Should probably have looked at the photo board. I know one more picture I need. And then the rest are a mystery. Oh, go on, Gary. It'd be a little bit of theft. Foreign country, mate. It can't do shit. That's how it works, right? I'm not even going to come further up. Should probably have checked. There we go. <coughs> right. What's missing? The oh, okay, the big the big sprite, the the notice board, and then oh shit! So I know where that one is as well, because we walked past it and I didn't realise it was one of the ones we needed. Um, oh, Colin, I'd come. Well, yeah, I was gonna say I'll come to Iceland with you, but then I won't have any points. So never mind, eh? Right. Um, so, yeah, that one, I mean, that, that, that one's going to be a struggle. Look, I know it wasn't an invite. I was offering to do you a favour, mate. You're the one who's got no mates and wants to go to Iceland. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's go up here and get this one done. Is chat delay just on the stream? Uh, I mean, they're showing up on my preview of the stream at that, like, as you're saying them. But then, I don't know. First time. Uh, yeah, I think there is more of a delay than usual um, because of when it all went fucky for a little bit. Uh, let's just teleport back. So why are the fast travel points just those three? Because initially it looked like it was just all the ones I'd ticked off. Whatever. Right. Um, actually, yeah, let's teleport to that one. <coughs> Put the camera away. That one's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you walk into the mist, you get eaten by a ghost.
So these grassy bits, I think that like this is probably where that mystery photograph is. Come on, let me through. A lot of invisible walls in this, I might mentioned. <laughs> Could be the last three. No, I, can't, I don't think it is the last three taken because I think we've done a few since, but whatever. Uh, can't take selfies, therefore, terrible computer game. Right, let's just follow. Not that, because the deadly mist. That's not a footpath. That's a footpath. <clears throat> to be fair, I am the default character in most video games, so the likelihood of that isn't nil. Ding a ling a ling. I am the photography master. Right, now I need to find that little information board, which I think is this way. <coughs> Hey, there we go. Ling -a -ling -a -ling. Right, last one. We need to we need to really visualize it. It's just bollocks because there's no like. So it's one of the paths into the. The greenery, right? So maybe if we go, so if we teleport to this one. Backwards out of the the green and see if it looks familiar. I don't think this is it, but imagine if I was wrong. Damn it! I'm just gonna keep keep taking pictures. <laughs> That's not this one. Not this one. Okay. Oh, so this is Unreal Engine 4. Okay. That's the... Right, sorry. So is it... 5 is on its way, right? Yeah, 5 is the one we saw the fancy demo for. With the particles and that. Right, let's follow this path all the way out of the green stuff. Oh, this looks a bit more busy. Could this be it? Oh, yes, man. It's a photo board. Yeah. Billion polys for a rock. <gasps> so the gate doesn't open, it just disappears. That's weird. So I've never done this before. <laughs> um, I played a little bit of it, but actually, let's, let's just walk. Mate. Oh, no, hang on, that's... Oh, hello, creepy. Photograph of you, you weirdo. Oh, no, what's it doing? Thanks for playing. That's, that's the end. I guess. I could have been the raincoat killer. Oh, hello, what's this? Still, right, still got the camera, good. Don't have to pick the camera up again. Oh, right, we're just back here, but the... Um, the weather's changed. I think. Yeah, there's the waterfall. I don't know about you guys, I can't really see much. I don't know how it looks on the stream. That was the actual photographer and we're just his ghost. Retracing his steps and taking all his pictures again. He probably was looking for his camera. Turns around, oi, some... Fuckers... Stolen my camera. I left it on a rock. Thought it was safe. Oh, hey, Ryan. 
Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's a, a bloody sunrise stroke set, isn't it? <clears throat> I couldn't see it because it was foggy and said it was meant to be like that. Yeah, it was then, but now it's less foggy. Now it's just dark. I'm going to get a photo of that just for my own purposes, mate. Weird that it does that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> that white flash. Clearly you're not using a camera with a flash on it. That'd be ridiculous. Um, answer your question. What was the... Sorry, what was the question? Sorry, I must have missed it. Can you actually just change the brightness? No, you can't. Who do you think could finish this game fastest, Cami or Gary? I mean, probably Gary, right? Unless Cami was allowed to practice. I think first, first go, Gary, definitely. Right, probably don't need any more of this. It's probably enough. No, I know Cami's a speedrunner, but he also doesn't have presumably doesn't have any eye for photography or at least not like Gary does given that it's Gary's actual job um, that's what I'm saying so if Cammy was able to practice I reckon he'd, he'd figure out some strats whereas just going on instinct the first go Gary's got it <clears throat> Cammy's not just any speedrunner by the way he's, he's um, Scotland's fastest Speed on it. Uh, so you can't see this, but it quite arrogantly opens the developer's Instagram um, page. <laughs> to be fair, there's some great stuff on here that you can't see. So there you go. Deal with that. Um, it's quite cool because you see loads of comments. People going, oh, I've just played one of your games on Steam. It was, it was really good. Thank you. Um, Kami would be quicker in the long run, yeah. Uh, sorry, Phil. Yeah, so there's uh, Kyoto and New Zealand ones as well, which are really nice. But crucially not cold so um, <laughs> not happening scotland's fastest speedrunner would not be as quick as gary what do you mean what do you mean yeah initially yeah but that's not how speedrunning works is it sorry scotland's best speedrunner right final game tonight here we go Bloody frost punk. I don't know how this is going to run because it's quite new. Um, but yeah, I feel like this will really make us appreciate the current warm weather given that this is all about surviving frost spunk. That's very good. Oh, is it not detecting the game? Oh no, there we go. We're fine. It was a couple of years old. Sorry, I thought it was Alienware, mate. That's some real shit. Yeah, this is probably going to be really miserable, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, because there's new expansions just come out, hasn't it? 8-2 in the football. Is this the Barker and Bayern Munich thing? I mean, why am I even looking at the... Everything's on full. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Enough time stream to get to the fourth child labour bits. Good. Thank God for that. Yeah, Barcelona. Everyone knows it's that's how it's pronounced. Oh, isn't it? I mean, I know most people say Barcelona, but isn't it actually a th? It's actually actually Barcelona. Um. No, this is not Fall Guys, Gary. <laughs> Definitely. 
Ah, Phil, that's very good. This war of mine is a is such a strange one, right? Because I know it's I know it's really good and it's had loads of hang on. Cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped with pride and glory. Snowpiercer. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost. Stopped it all. Ladybird! Suddenly, no. without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class, we lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. This is um, Frostpunk. <clears throat> we bid farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey. And we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Probably quite easy, I imagine. We fled from London and got. Oh, don't, that, these aren't all from London, are they? Why does the last city on Earth have to be people from bloody London? We fled from London fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to re reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world we know... Uh, well, as we know, it has crumbled. Oh, it's going red. It's going choppy. It's going choppy. Settings, please. Need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. That's all well and good. But let's just knock those settings right down, shall we? What? Changes will be applied after restarting the game. Is that done enough? Right, so I've got to stockpile some coal. Turn the generator on. What's all this? Wooden crates. I'll get wood out of them. What's this? Steel. Wood. Ah. Coal. Get a load of workers on that, mate. What's the difference between engineers and workers? Are they just better? <laughs> oh man, they all have to like... Cut through the snow, that's amazing. Speed the time up, yes. <laughs> Come on, guys, get a move on. <laughs> Sorry, 
It's insensitive, I'm sorry. I won't swing that when the child labour starts. I promise. You missed the football. I mean, there wasn't really any football chat. Other than people going absolutely nuts at me saying Barker. Oh, uh, this war of mine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I know it's it's very good and important, um, and it's didn't it, isn't it like in museums and it's part of a curriculum and stuff. Um, but I was sure I read a thing with the devs where they were like, I know we looked into it and actually it turns out like sort of during and after wars and stuff when resources are really scarce actually most people band together and they're pretty good um it's not like you know everyone out for themselves looting each other etc etc like usually communities are actually pretty positive and obviously it's not a situation you'd wish on anyone it's just not as bad as the game makes out um so i thought they, they'd admitted that it was basically Fiction, right? Um, right, how do we turn this generator on, guys? Inoperative. The generator is off. Stream level one. Come on. Look at that shit. Generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. The generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Food. There'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Where on earth do you get food from? There's nothing here, man. Still, discontent is low. Uh, hope's alright too. Um, excuse me. Secure a raw food supply, build a hunter's hut or a hot house. How do we build stuff? The hammer. Tent. So I guess it all sort of fans out from the centre. You've installed a B day. God damn, I'm jealous. I love a B day. Band together as in get closer than they've been told they should. What do you mean? No, as in they all just help each other out. Oh, the cut. Sorry, you. Sorry, sorry, Ben. I've only just realised you were replying to Colin. Ignore me. We're stopped up on. Uh, stopped. Up, stopped up on bog rolls and pasta. No. Which is a problem, isn't it? Um. So. Under construction. Oh yeah, right. So then I need a cookhouse as well. Ah, so I need wood. Smash some crates, mate. Ah, right, so let's take five of them off. Another five on there. I assume the of like all obviously all these little pockets of resources run out, and then what do you do? Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Right, so definitely need to start. So let's drop all of these. As long as there's some people getting coal, right? cookhouse. I still haven't got any wood. Come on. Get a move on. <coughs> Let's 
it's really weird it's like in so the town i live in people are not being particularly i mean it's okay in like asda but anywhere else not so much um whereas hang on, let's take them some of them and we don't need 15 engineers all on one coal seam do we um but like i was in manchester last sunday and that's probably the safest i've ever felt there's not that many people around like just loads of room so just, you know like to just walk about um yeah it's all right Right. So hang on, why aren't people... Where is everyone? Is it because it's night time? Yes. People on normal work shifts are free to see to their needs. I assume there comes a point where you can start dictating how much time they're allowed to spend like by themselves. That's good to hear. Compulsory face masks should have been like one of the first things we did. Um, and it was just, I mean, I say that like, I, you know, I am one of the people who was like, you know, in February, like, oh my God, look, everyone's buying face masks. Why are they all panicking? Um, but then I suppose the evidence was like all over the place on whether or not they actually helped, right? Um, you can't right, you can enable twenty four hour work shifts now that yeah, makes sense. Um Right, the number of sick is rising, we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. Open the book of laws. Emergency shift. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand and the cost of everything else or die um, after introducing this law another one can be passed after 18 hours new ability can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours no absolutely not um, no, no chance we, also, we can have a fighting arena nothing relieves tension better than watching a few rounds of an all out slugfest so the only downside is you will have to build a fighting arena. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, so here's the child labour one. There aren't enough hands to do all the work. will allow children to be employed in safe workplaces like cookhouses or hothouses. Um, so yeah, child workers will still be injured though. Or child shelters. Children will be safer if they stay in child shelters during the day and they won't cause any mischief. Um, child shelter hope will rise, providing all children with a place in the child shelter gives you a permanent hope bonus. Um, <laughs> we climb massively over the weeks, so spiked in different regions based on job funding. Da -da -da. So, you, right, so you guys are doing forms for track and trace as well. I mean, that seemed because that's what we're doing, and I thought that was like an especially rubbish solution but then we were supposed to have this thing that was going to track all our phones and stuff right and that's just not happened several billion down the toilet thanks UK government um, yeah Ben that's that's my my worry right as I'm looking at it, like well I wouldn't do XYZ that's completely unnecessary um, oh god and you can go into child labour for all jobs not just the safe ones Jesus um Christ. Uh so we're not doing emergency shift, fuck that. What else have we got? Radical treatments or sustain life. We try everything to cure the gravely ill from invasive surgery to amputations. After introducing this uh, gravely ill will be treated in medical posts, hope will raise slightly. Thirty percent of the gravely ill will be left as amputees, and discontent will rise slightly. Sustain life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputations with radical treatment. 
So you still get more hope and more discontent. As the grave veal will not be treated and will remain a burden, the grave veal will wait, will take up beds in medical posts. Okay. Okay. Um, also we've got cemetery. Establish a burial ground to allow dead to rest in dignity and respect. Keep dead bodies out in the heat zone and cover them with snow. The cold will halt their decay. Um, can we not recycle them for food? <laughs> Chuck them in the furnace. That's what I'd want. If there's a big furnace that was keeping the last of humanity alive. But once I'm dead, fucking get me in it. It's about the only use I'm going to be. Like, you know, I don't. <laughs> um. So, so what's the point in corpse disposal? Surely a cemetery is just the way to go. Other than it's a bright, each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours, and you'll have to build a cemetery. Risk of disease. Bodies are preserved. Pre bodies are preserved for for, for potential future use organ transplants gotcha <laughs> see I, I feel like that's something I'd be comfortable compromising on is that weird <laughs> I'll, I'll accept that like bad choice I probably shouldn't be like looking at these for as long as I am um So there must be other laws that come up, right? Right, cookhouse. Have we got any bloody wood yet? Fucking hell. Star, still, still free time time, right? <clears throat> there we go. They're all off out. That was a weird little noise the game just made. Kids aren't best at gathering wood. We don't need... Here we go. I wish I could zoom in just a bit more. I really love it in these games where they let you get right down to ground level. from our convoy with basic resources secured for now we can try to rescue the people we left behind build a beacon scout frostland and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible we'll need a workshop to design plans and more advanced buildings gotcha. Time to rest, folks. Works out today. So, these because i don't need a tutorial i'm absolutely fine Six, eight people sick, nine people sick, ten people sick, eighty. Ho no one's got any houses. No wonder they're all getting sick. Let's fix that. I mean, some tents would be a start, eh? Workshop, beacon, rescue survivors. I'm not making people sick on purpose. There you go, there's your medical post. And then I'll put some... Oh, okay, still got enough for some tents. There we go. Let's go faster. Let's go, 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 go. Colin, stop making me consider child labour. It's fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. Right. Yeah, just yeah, just put an engineer in the medical tent. So what have we got? Okay, so we've only got five people who are ill. So three engineers. Right, well. It's going to be fine. How many people can... God, they only take 10 each. So I've still got 60 homeless. 
Shit. That is no good at all. More tents. Right, wood. Who saw that coming? <laughs> I'm not considering it. I'm just saying you keep mentioning it. Like it's inevitable. It might not be. <laughs> Music's very sad, isn't it? Right, what else have we got? So we built a load of tents. We've got a medical post. We've got food stuff. Resource depot, gathering post. And then we need a workshop. We need some steel for that. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Fade for uniforms. Fuck off. Uh, right, let's get. some steel come on ah no one's working in the cookhouse shit what a moron two engineers three workers we staffed the yeah the hunter's hut's been staffed Good point, Ryan. Nothing even particularly sad has happened yet, and the music's already like giving it some. Um, okay. So what happens? So presumably, once you do a full ring, does it then just build another street around the outside? I, guess, I assume it does. Shop guys. <clears throat> and another tent. Why not? Gathering post. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and still wreckage. Um shop. Can I now Right, yeah. Right, so you always have to go on the innermost bit. Okay, cool. This is quite relaxing so far. I don't know what everyone's problem is. I think it's absolutely fine. End of shift. It's definitely not gonna change at any point. It's gonna be fine. So you've only got five people sick now. So we built a workshop, now we've got to build a beacon. So what happens with... Ah, now we've got a tech tree. The bloody love of tech tree, come on. Um, allows us to use heaters to heat workplaces during working hours. Each heater raises the workplace's temperature by one level, consumes one coal per hour. Steam hubs create additional smaller heat zones around them. I see mini metro stresses me out, Gary. That's that's absolutely correct. So where's the Ah, hang on. Ah, beacon. Beacon. <clears throat> One engineer available. He can do it, it's fine. Richard Ashley. And he's currently in treatment. Brilliant. We've got one engineer and he's poorly. Right. What are we, what are we all right for resources wise? So we've got plenty of coal, so let's get a few people off that. No! 
I'm not doing it. Right. Pause. Economy. We can keep going like this for a while, I'd say. Thanks, George Ward. Andrew Feversham says, I've got to hold on. People are depending on me. Right, mate. Chill out. Let's press forward. Brace yourselves. Uh oh. Coming. Uh oh. So this is the, the weather getting worse, yeah? Right, so it's only heating that area. So once you're outside of that initial circle, so like this place, it's gonna get fucking cold, mate. Boom! Time to get to work. Gotcha. Ah, have I fucked up? Are you supposed to build that in range of like these things? Shit, I bet I have. Can I dismantle it? <laughs> yeah, we can dismantle it. We get the resources back. Let's do it. They research the they have oh no they haven't now they have um some good cookhouse ambience. I like that. So what are we... So yeah, I need to build the beacon. So they're researching that now. It's going to take a million years. More engineers, please. Richard Ashley still poorly. Oh, what's that? What's that? family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can. Chill out. We're researching a beacon. All right. Oh, what's this? Dangerous cold frostbite. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This keeps happening if people have to work in such cold. Um, we must do something, or I see. Consider signing the radical treatment or sustain life law. So radical treatment was amputating, and then sustain life was to keep people alive. Yeah, do you know what? Sustain life, mate. Hear me, hear me. We can manage it. It's fine. How much longer am I thinking of streaming? What time are we on? Probably another ten minutes. This is only a half measure. We need an infirmary. Why take up all the beds with these goners? Fuck off, Thomas Wellins. What a prick. Oops. So, hang on. So there is no infirmary yet, right? I guess we need to research that. Come on, workshop. You're very slow. Ryuzuki would not be a good uh, city manager, would he? Let's go around battering people. Oh, you can see, like, outside the little... So where do you get resources from once these are depleted? That must be a thing. Ah, so there's, like, big old deposits... But what about wood? I can see, I mean, I can see there's all trees here, but they're not infinite. Plus, it doesn't let you click on them, so I don't think they're actually like a resource. Um, why isn't it functioning? What's the. What's going on? 
got enough bleeding food. What are the hunters doing? Closed? Right, let's get some more hunters on the go. What could we, what resources could we have more of? Steel, I guess. Finish your labors. Ah, wood crates the depleted, okay. It's alright, that's fine. There's, there's all the wood crates, I think. of home stirs anger. Alright, chill. Captain, an angry crowd is protesting, pushed over the edge by prolonged homelessness. People demand that you address their problem immediately. I'll provide shelter for everyone. You'll have one day to provide shelter for 30 people. Provide better housing. You'll have two days to provide houses better than a tent for 30 people. Well, I won't address this. Discontent will rise greatly. Um, I mean, shelter for everyone, right? I mean, they're going to be outside of the warmth so they're probably all going to die. But, yeah. That or nothing. Not adjacent to street. Is that not adjacent to us? Ah. I think they house 10 each, right? Yeah, so that's 330 people. That's mathematics! <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Look, I what did I tell you? All I had to do was point at it. Now look. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> that made the game choppy. That's strange. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with a roof, even a flapping one over their head. Hope rises. Cool. I mean, it's a shame they're all freezing to death. This technology thing takes way too long. Is, is Oberdin virtually unstreamable? You're damn right, Stanley Roden. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. I mean, it's either that or death, isn't it? So, you know, shut up. There is a lot of cello. I like the cello, though. I, I, I think, you know, gone to my head. I think cello's probably my favourite instrument. <laughs> Um, oh, was it just because of the visual style? I suppose, yeah, maybe, yeah. So maybe it's just the way the encoding works. It just isn't. Um, yeah. Can't handle it. Oh, wow. Peak vision. Accidental <laughs> partridge. Nothing accidental about it, mate. Uh... Can we build a fucking beacon yet? Come on. Yes. Thank fuck. Oh, what? I need, what, 20 wood? It's steel, isn't it? I need. All right. Fine. Um, there's the steel wreckages. Go, go, go. Yeah, beacon for more people that we can't actually... Um, you know, home. I suppose we start researching something else though. So we need more heating, right? Because so steam hubs, right? Yeah. So then they create extra little bits of heaters to heat workplaces. So I guess we start with steam hubs, and then maybe the heated workplaces. 
Fine. What was this? Work is needed. There's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of addressing this problem is to put our children to work. Absolutely not. We're going to build child shelters. Fuck you. New law. A new law has passed. A new law has passed. Hang on, where's the, where's the street that it needs to be adjacent to? I don't understand. So how do you add more streets? I don't get it. So it means the green bits, but then how do you decide where they are? I don't understand. So there's no dismantle street, dismantle building, build street. Here we go. And then you have to, right. Get one going this way. got plenty of wood. We can do this. Is that it? Is that happening now? So is that it? Are the streets built? Right, no, they're glowing. So they're still, they're still going. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> cool, at least it lets you place stuff while the street's under construction. <laughs> Ooh, current game of the year. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, hang on, more sick beds needed. Uh, Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. Asking you to address the problem. I'll open a new medical post, or I promise they'll be treated. Uh, new medical post is easier, right? Um, post. There you go. Absolutely fine. Um, no, honestly, I don't know. Um, there's a very real chance I'm going to be awkward and... Yeah, Kentucky Route Zero. I still need to play that. I'm still fucking up life by not playing Kentucky Route Zero. Um, and yeah, technically finished this year, so I think it counts. Um, yeah, there's a very good chance I'm going to pick something awkward. Um, like, honestly, Jet Lancer might be on the list. Um, or Hunt Down, for that matter. Because they're both fucking brilliant. Um, I mean, Animal Crossing. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the move. Child shelter is ready, and the children are safe inside. People can work without worrying that something will happen to their kids. Um, no, I know I should finish finish Alex. It's just that my PC explodes every time I try to play it. Um, yeah, Animal Crossing's like. <laughs> on the one hand it's oh shit one of engineers free okay lose one engineer there um we do need engineers and resource deposits as well, as well. Um, yeah, like, I do feel there's a lot of missteps and a lot of missed opportunities with Animal Crossing. But I've played fucking loads of it and it came at a time where we absolutely needed it and can't ignore that. Um, 
I know what you mean, Ryan. Like it is just very compelling. I don't, but I don't know if it's actually good. Or it's, like, it's the, it's just the fact that there are things missing in it that were in previous Animal Crossing games. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, right, what are we doing? Just doing the free time up. Come on, 7 a.m. Get to work. There we go. Healthcare promise fulfilled. I am Ace. Book of Laws. Extra rations for the ill or overcrowding. Care house. What's this? Gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at low cost in special homes. Uh, care house. So they're no longer a burden in medical posts. Residents of care houses eat half as much. Well, that's handy, isn't it? Hope will rise slightly. Oh, look, and then you end up with prosthetics. Get them back to work. Overcrowding. Medical facilities should be fully utilised, even if the patient's on the floor. I mean, no. Um... <laughs> So the capacity is doubled, but then everyone hates it. Fine. Um, Use extra rations in medical facilities to speed up recovery. Yeah. Why not? Hang on, what if we got soup and food additives? We can add sawdust to meals to make them more filling, although not exactly tasty or healthy. No. We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Why wouldn't you just do that? Why wouldn't you just do that? Hey, like, they both cause a loss of hope and a, ra a small rise in discontent. But then eating soup causes discontent and eating sawdust makes you ill. So, soup, obviously. I hate soup. All my life it's been thin gruel and empty promises. Here we are, reduced to poverty, such as the price of survival. It's only soup? Fucking hell. You can have nice soup. What's wrong with you all? Right, we need to build a beacon, don't we? Get back to work. Beacon. Beacon. That's only minus 30. Well, it was minus 40 before, so I think we're all right. Personally, this is absolutely fine. Um, and we can start building steam towers soon. So. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, it probably is time to stop streaming soon, right? That is a good autobiography title. Um, yeah, man, soup and sourdough bread. A bit of butter on it. Banger. Speed up time. Can't even remember what for at this point. Yeah, we can build steam hubs. Oh, fuck me. Steel. Fucking steel, man. Um, is that steel? No, that's coal. We've got loads of coal, right? Let's get them off the coal. Keep a few people on it, obviously. I don't want to die. Um, steel wreckage. Go. Wood crates. I mean, we've got quite a lot of wood. It's not that right. Ryan, I've been using Steam Link on my iPad and it's great. Hey, just want to thank you. Back in London, it was only the wealthy that didn't have to send their kids to work. In this new world, 
you're creating, we can see things will be different. It was the right thing to do. I'm going to read all everything out in that accent now. Sorry. <laughs> that was a good impression of Dave, wasn't it? That's what he sounds like. That's what we all sound like. This is all ticking over pretty good, man. We're no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us. Frostland. Surely every, everywhere is Frostland now. What's the point in calling it anything? It's just the world now. <clears throat> Up you go. I think Dave and I both do very good impressions of each other. Because we've been good friends. Wow, look at that. Why? So why did they have to pick here to set up shop? Why wouldn't they just stay in bleeding bloody land and turn? Um, gloomy cave or lost expedition? I'm going to go with lost expedition. Numerous tents. We can see people moving about. They must be the lost members of our expedition. Cool. Send scouts here to learn more about this place. How do I do that? Please. I don't understand. Um. Right, well, that's uh, what's happening, I guess. Exploration industry. How's this research tier one? More scouts. So that implies I have any scouts. Faster, oh, faster gathering. That might be good. What else have we got? Sawmill. Turns frozen trees into usable material. Gotcha. Pressurized water into underground coal deposits. Um, <clears throat> doesn't yeah it doesn't say Colin where this is set for some reason even though the world froze over they started in London and went north I mean surely that's the last direction you want to go in like the sun still exists so surely you're still better off near the equator right faster gathering has surely got to be the one You reckon this should be the new series? I'd actually sort of be up for that. Um, because this is... I've, I've quite enjoyed this. I, I mean, I wasn't sure if it was a, an entertaining stream, but if you're telling me it is... Oh, here we go. Actually, so we're struggling more for hunter stuff, right? Let's do that. I say hunter stuff, I mean food. We ain't got any raw food. There's the hunters. More workers, please. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, how's it gone choppy again? What cause is that? Very strange. Right. People cheer as a giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for our lost people in Frostland. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. Um, cool. I still don't know how we send people out, though. Go directly to the beacon to deploy a new unit. Go to the city. Ah! So it needs some workers. Create a new scout team, at least five citizens must be available. Okay, so let's pull some off other stuff then. Here we are. Scout team. Lost expedition. Let's flipping go. <laughs> hmm. 
not sending children out. Shut up. That's a photo mode. Oh my god, I'm gonna take some photographs. Please tell me you can zoom all the way in. No, not really. It's a shame. Vignette. Wait, that's a strange vignette effect. It's not really doing much on the left and right. It's mainly just sort of top and bottom. Strange. Monochrome. Sut effect. Oh, that's creepy. Don't like that at all. Ornamental frame. Nice. Crossbow logo. No. What would the caption be? Oh, nice. Pan the camera, zoom with the mouse. Right, so that's as far as you can zoom in. Okay. Gary, they're allowed to put a photo mode in their game if they want. You can't stop them. <coughs> right, so work shots. That. Uh oh. Captain, some, uh, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. Let's heat some homes! Uh, so you have the data start heating one of the cold homes within two days, then keep them heated for two days. You'll have to start heating three cold homes within 24 hours, then keep them heated for two days. So what's the... So what's the bonus of going for the harder one, right? I think mean, it's just like more hope. Still, I'm gonna I'm gonna lowball it. Let's just get. Let's just keep it easy and simple, and let's build the steam hub. Oh, amazing! So I can just stick one in the middle of all these homes. I totally could have done the harder one. What a prat! Excuse me. Um, when when do, when does this session stop? Do you think? Let's get that expedition home, and then we'll call that the stream. Dark cave entrance. Faint wisp of smoke, but it's gone now. Great. Fantastic work, guys. Why is that? No, close this time. Don't. Let's fast forward through time. There you go. Livable conditions done. I am mint. We could pass a new law. I think we should. I think we should build a care house. Gravely ill are kept alive in care houses and no longer a medical posts. They eat half as much. And we get a bit of hope. Build a flipping care house. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Gravely ill and amputees because they dedicate But we've got to build one. And I haven't got the resources. Cool. Uh, more steel. Who's free? Anyone? It's coal. Where's all the... It's already got like a million people on it. So is that one. Um, I'm off that coal pile. Is research paused? I think it's just because it's um, night time. Hello. Have you got scouts? The rest of our people made camp here, too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Please do. Hang on. Explore, search the area. Surely we just want them to come home. Oh, right. Search might provide survivors, so you have to get them to search them first. 
We enter the camp, peering out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Escort them. <laughs> so you can just send them, but they might die. When Bell freezes over. That's good. Yeah, I might do that. Might well do that. <laughs> um, cool. I'll probably, uh, to avoid the choppiness, I'll just I'll stream this in 30 frames a second um, next week as well, because at the moment it's 60, and let's face it, not really necessary, is it? It's not a... It's just not that sort of game. Um, so, like, do you know what? If this is going to be, like, a more permanent thing... Hang on a minute. Let's just grab... me. And put me up here. So we can see all the things. Although, actually, that's going to grow and, and shrink, isn't it? So that's not, that's not going to work. Maybe I'll just go in the top left then, because you don't need to see the little tooltip stuff. <clears throat> Four hours, I'll be back. I'll be back for tea time. Still wreckage depleted. Cool. That should have freed some people up at least. Coal pile. Steel wreckage. So, yeah, we've still got like no steel. So, yes, loads of people on that place. That's true, Colin. It's like, look. Look at the magnificent world. Where's my other hand? Sorry, I'm like banging the microphone. Regards all I have created. What a great planet. Everything's going really well. There we go, return safely. Amazing. You can disband the scouts of the beacon or send them back out into Frostland. Hey, how are you all going to get in, idiots? You're going to jump, are you? Morons, mate. All the homes have got heating now. Stop it. None of the kids are working. All the homes have got heating. It's fine. It's hard when we see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. Yeah, we'll look for them. Right, what else have we got? Crash site. Several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. Probably our machines, let's hope so. We have to leave supplies in them. Bulky cylindrical construction stands out on a small hill. A Union Jack flies over it, but there's no sign of movement. <sighs> okay. The gloomy cave. I mean, I don't fancy the gloomy cave, I'll be honest. Um, what do I reckon? Crash site. Or sturdy shell. It's the, it's so it's specifically those screens with all the people and stuff. That's what kills it. That's really strange. You think that would be the last thing that would make it worse? But whatever. Um, I think the, the bulky cylindrical construction is the most interesting. Right, let's go. That's right, you click that. 22 hours, that's bloody ages. Oh god, we've got no food. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them to help us find our survival. Um, right, so there, there's other settlements. Shit. Hey. Look at that, everyone's warm, everyone's happy. It's all good. Let's go 
build some more streets, man. I'd be very I mean I, I I won't be right about this but I'd be very happy if it turned out the secret point is that you can actually just look after everyone and not be a dick <laughs> Colin um, you know I mean is, is this entertaining to watch I wasn't entirely sure um, but I'm happy if it is Two of our people died. Oh no, one of them was a kid. Shit. And it's only been a week. Fuck. William Rolleston, mate, I'm sorry. Um, well, what's this now? First death. One of our people has just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives. We need oh, we need a way to dispose of the body. People can take care of it themselves. No, you do it. Um, so what do we reckon? Cemetery or corpse disposal? Oh, I can't sign another law for another day. Okay. All right. All right, fine. Just leave it. Oh, but that means we're going to get diseases from the corpses right I'm gonna stop because if I don't just arbitrarily decide to stop we will be here all night I'm gonna save my game overwrite that and I'm gonna quit there you go can't make me um that was good. I really like that. We'll, well, yeah, we'll stream this again. Why not? Um, and you'll get to see me have to make really horrible decisions at some point, I assume. Um, so far, it's not been too bad. But we'll see. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I, do, I do hope James is going to be back next week. Um, because I'm pretty sure he's got Omicron working now. Um... <laughs> And I cannot wait, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, oh shit, what's Matt doing on Sunday? I think Matt's having a week off. Um, yeah, I think Matt's having... I think he he's, hasn't decided what he's doing next. Maybe, or maybe I'm wrong, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, there might not be a stream on Sunday. Who knows? Uh Right, well, I mean, there's not much to plug then, is there? Um, see you next week. <laughs> that was kind of it. Um, I mean, did he say he'd be on? God, sorry, I must have misremembered. This is usually the bit where it turns out he's been lurking in the chat uh, the entire time. Um, okay, yeah, maybe he's just breaking from, from Hitman then and playing something else. Um... Oh yeah, I, it's, it's, turn up on Sunday evening. Matt will be playing something, I imagine. Um, and then yeah, and then next Tuesday I'll do one of these again. Hopefully, it won't be quite so fucking hot by then, and I won't be dying. Um, and then and, and then Wednesday there'll be a new podcast, and James can take me to task for all the horrible things I said about him, because I'm a coward and I only make fun of people when they can't retaliate. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all doing all right. Hope you have a nice weekend. Um, unless you're working, in which case, I am sorry. I used to work weekends and it's the fucking worst. Um, don't really know where I'm going with that. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> See you later. Oh, fuck me. I have to tab out of that and then go to this.
and then go and then click on this the end screen I, so i haven't got a schedule for the end screen so instead all you're going to see is this 